Hobby Kids TV. Hi, Hobby Kids. We're going to take a look at the Pirates of the Caribbean game in the Infinity box set. So let's put on Captain Jack Sparrow and get to the game. So right off the bat, you can see that Infinity is trying to replicate the actual ride of the Pirates of the Caribbean. You're sitting in a boat and you're rowing down a water canal while there are pirates attacking an island. Infinity does a good job adding action scenes and also cutscenes to keep the games very lively, and they definitely did this in Pirates of the Caribbean. And like all the other Infinity games, every time you do something good, there's confetti and the logo of the game you're playing. As Jack Sparrow, you have a cutlass where you can cut open boxes and get coins to buy things that you can use in the game. Also in Pirates of the Caribbean, you see all the friendly and not so friendly faces of the Pirates of the Caribbean talking to you and giving you mission objectives. You also have a musket that you can use to blow open locks and even attack enemies. Speaking of enemies, there's always opportunities to do some swashbuckling. And of course, you always want to keep a lookout for some extra goodies you can use in the toy box. One of the first things you have to do in the game is save Mr. Gibbs who's locked in a tower. This objective teaches you how to use the platform so that you can jump, hop, and scale buildings. Once you save Mr. Gibbs from his prison, the story starts getting a little bit more detailed as what you need to do in this game. You need to find a map. And this gives you another opportunity to do some swashbuckling by jumping on a rope and sliding all the way down. Which is something you have to do regularly in the game but is a lot of fun. And of course, just before you can get the map, a bad guy comes, takes it away, and your job is to go catch him. Jones will be on his way to the prize. If he gets it, you'll be trapped on land forever. And at this point, the game is pretty much a free-for-all. You can walk around the pirate island, and you have to do small, strange jobs to earn money so that you could buy upgrades to your ship. At first, this seems kind of tedious, but once you get enough upgrades to get to your ship, you can get to the real game. You can go around down the bayous, and you can shoot cannons from a rowboat, which was really fun. You can also have a ship of your own and completely customize it anything you want as long as you get the money to change certain upgrades to increase the speed of your boat or even the range of your cannons. And what's nice is you can even switch from which cannon you want to use after the upgrade. So this is the regular cannon which can shoot an okay range and then you push a button, the cannon flips over and you can have the telescope cannon which gives you better accuracy and range. Pirates of the Caribbean Infinity has a really awesome aspect where you can sell a ship, customize it, have battles against other ships, and you could sail to small islands too and try and discover other treasures. The controls may be kind of hard to get used to, but once you do, it's a lot of fun. And when you're out at the open sea, there's even explosive targets you could practice on. 
And there's also little islands you could pull up and try and find some buried treasure. So, Pirates of the Caribbean Infinity does have a lot to offer. You can be on a rowboat shooting a cannon, swashbuckling, or even selling your own pirate ship and giving it upgrades. Sometimes the missions that you're given are kind of tedious, but all in all, when you're upgrading your ship, it does seem worth it. Give us a like and subscribe so that you can watch some more reviews on Infinity and other awesome kid video games.